Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to the Dark Side Detective. I'm immediately picking up uh, right after we uh, finished Poltergeist. Poltergeist? So depending on how long this one is, you'll see this immediately after or a couple days later. We'll see. Let's jump right on in and see what lays in wait for us at the Bates Motel. It's Dooley's birthday, so I'm taking him to Twin Lakes number one roadside attraction to celebrate. I I know this was like a, a TV show and or a book, I'm not sure. I have no idea what it's about, so if there are references, I'm going to miss every single one. <laughs> Ooh, spooky music. Cool. Ooh. Excited? Boy, am I. This is such a neat way to spend my birthday. I can't believe Chief Scully gave us the time off work. I have a lot more sway with the Chief than you might think. You didn't tell her, did you? No, but perk of the job, I told her El Chupacabra was causing trouble out, causing trouble out here. Is that a gang? <laughs> Point is, we're not expected back at the office for a few days, so let's get there and kick back. Oh, that's nice. I can't believe it's taken so long to come to Twin Lakes' finest roadside attraction. The finest and only attraction. I'm excited to see what sort of stuff has been fish fished up here from Lake Monster and stored here. And I'm excited to find out why they've taken why they've taken all the, did I read that? And I'm excited to find out why they are taken all the way out here to the desert and not stored near the lake itself. Anyway, let's grab our bags from the car and sort out our room at the reception before we go to the go visit the museum. Oh yeah, this is de let me put my mouse here. Definitely gonna be the screenshot. Oh, I see now. Bates Motel. I see, I see, I see. This reminds me of Welcome to Night Vale. Oh, let me dim this light, it's so bright. I don't know if any of you listen to podcasts, but this, oops. Everything about this reminds me of Welcome to Night Vale. Is that better? Yeah. All right. Huh? Dooley, why did you bring a lamp? We're out here for the night, so I figured we'd pack... <laughs> I'd pack light. Just that and some power supplements in case I want to work out while we're here. I love you, buddy. Don't ever change. I try not to. It's why I'm wearing my uniform on holidays. Okay, got our luggage. We should drop off our bags to the room first. If I just drop them here, can we go see the attractions right away? Okay, let's... A trash can full of old burrito wrappers and half full energy drinks. That's a potent drink. It lets you see sound and hear your heartbeat. I hope I never have to drink that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's got a skull on it. I can't believe we're able to get into such an exclusive establishment. I think you may want to rein in those expectations, buddy. So much neon. It's so you can see how crummy this place is. Aw, oh, nowhere my best buddy brings me for my birthday could be crummy. Aw, oh, so cute. I have booked us in. Didn't want to risk there being no rooms left in the inn. Inn? It's a motel detective. What is the difference? I don't actually know. Ooh, it's so nice inside. Did you know the first reception was built in Ohio by Julius Caesar in 932 BC? What history books are you reading? Wait, you can read about history? <laughs> oh dear. Aircon. I'm so glad this place has aircon. It's so warm out in the desert. Eh, Narvin. Eh, stop talking, taking all my cool air. Your room has its own cool air. Go breathe in there. You're raising the temperature level in here. What are you watching? None of your business, that's what. Okay, fish trophy. Eh, I caught that fish myself. You ain't never caught one that big, have you? No, that's for sure. <laughs> eh, close the freaking door. You're letting all the sand in. Why are you here anyway? We're here for the... We have booked a room. We have a room booked here. So you're the guys. I was wondering if you were going to turn up. It's late. You're late. You're in room two. Thanks. Don't thank me. I didn't clean the place out after the last guest. Yuck. Eh. Oh, the same one. Close the freaking door. We're here for the attraction. Then you're in the wrong place, morons. This here is a motel, as you should be able to see from the motel sign out front. Not so good at being a detective for... Not so good at the detectiving for a detective, eh? Attractions out back in the main road, then follow the sign. You'll know you're near on the account of the localized sandstorm. 
localized sandstorm? That's what I said, ain't it? Now you think that now you think that a smart guy like you can handle all that? What was the room num two? It was two. It's not that hard to remember. Two. <laughs> now get goodbye. <laughs> Jeez. That ain't for no customer use. It's for when I want to fax my mother. Make sure she fed the cat. She never remembered to feed a damn cat. Every night I come home to screaming at her, and her screaming at it. Just feed the damn cat, Ma. Why are you using a fax machine for that? I don't want to talk to her. Don't want to talk to you either. <laughs> okay. Hey, that water's not for drinking. Really? What do I look like, a unicorn to you? Of course, really, it's my water. You want water? You go to the diner next door. Okay. The desert, a one-stop destination for all your poorly conceived spiritual journeys. Hey, wise guys, where's you think he's going? That door's- that there's for golden ticket holders. Does you hold a golden ticket? No, thought not. <laughs> I like him. He's a little bit crazy. Okay, am I missing anything else? No, let's go. Uh, to the rooms? Do you think I've... Do you think I have a head for hats? I was thinking of trying to wear hats more often. Do you always wear a hat? Your police hat. Sure, but I have to wear this for work. I was thinking of a stylish hat. Oh, for off duty? Huh? No, to wear over this one. On duty is when I try to... When I meet most of the new people, so I want to try to look my best, you know? It's too dark to see anything inside. That's suspicious. Room one. Not us. We're, we're one over. Ooh, vending machine. Do vending machines do birthday cake? Would you really want a cake from a vending machine? Would you not? Maybe we should close the curtains. It's full of out of date shampoo and toothpaste. All the food items are gone. Doesn't look like this is all that well maintained. Much like all non-military services in this country. Oh look, there's a bag of cheese puffs in the slot. Might as well take it. These things never go off. Huh. Here we are. Finally, I feel like we've been walking forever and seeing nothing. Okay, this is us. Let's dump our bags. Uh, okay, I guess let's go left to right and investigate. No expenses spared on this room, eh? Sorry, Dooley, it's all I could afford. Huh? No, I'm serious. I love it. Thanks, detective. Aw, I'm glad. Vibrating bed? It's one of those 50 cent vibrating finger beds. What is a vibrating finger bed? That sounds weird. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> is my camera all delayed? Yeah, let me... I should just keep this open. Oh, not that button. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it does that. This is not connected to anything. I guess we're sleeping with the lights on. Steer These aren't called steering wheels, are they? They're called... Just wheels, maybe? I don't know, actually. I've seen these before. It's that AI that controls the ship. Hello, are you there? They must have let the battery run down. Good. I don't want to watching me sleep. They're not called steering wheels on a boat. What are they called? The helm? I don't remember. <laughs> maybe it is a steering wheel. I don't think so, though. We have half a phone. Oh, yeah, the, the piece that you're talking to is not there. But the phone half- but is the phone half empty or half full? Um, bedside locker. There's a note saying, I owe you one Bible. Signed Pastor Farrelly. That's funny. Seems like a good place to put our bags. Okay. Okay, that's us settled in. Shall we go see the attraction now? Yes, finally! Thank goodness there's aircon. This desert heat would be stifling otherwise. I don't think I can stay indoors without it. Okay, I guess let's go. Can I go right? Oh, I can. There's more rooms. The curtains are pulled over. I can't see inside. Swimming pool. Relaxed man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's make sure we talk to Dooley here. Three whole rooms? This is the biggest motel I've ever been to. It's very Night Vale. <laughs> I'm glad I brought trunks. I'm glad I like skinny dipping. <laughs> this brings back memories. Just look at that. Just look at that water. Chemical blue is the name, I think. <laughs> it is very blue. Look at those flies go. Probably drying themselves off after a swim. What are you doing out here at this hour? Sunbathing. Seamus. 
It's nighttime. I don't want to get sunburned. Daytime is when the rays are out hunting. That's for sure. I got really sunburned uh, a couple weeks ago and out on a bike ride. I wasn't expecting it to be so sunny because it's kind of cooled down here, but definitely got sunburned. A bucket of highly chlorinated water from the pool. You want to watch that stuff. They say it's good for your teeth, but really it's so the sheeple don't rise up against the government. Dooley, you're thinking of fluoride, which is not used for mind control. Also, you shouldn't be putting chlorine anywhere near your mouth. It's toxic. Oh, that might explain the horrible taste in my mouth each morning. Yuck. Oh, I can go in here. I wasn't expecting it. I'm glad I got to see this. I missed out on the last boiler room. It's a beauty, all right. Dust buster. Are you going to clean the donut crumbs out of the car finally? Dooley, you left those crumbs there. Is that a no then? It's like a witch's broom for a damper kind of witch. The circuit breaker for the motel. This must be where the motel's heat- where- This must be the where the motel heats its water and rooms. Pool too, I guess. But it's so hot, why would you need to heat anything? Okay, we'll probably need to come back here later. I bet for the circuit breaker. That's too obvious, maybe not. Okay, that is it here. Let's head back. Uh, okay, diner? Should we go to the diner? Behind the diner? Buoy, buoy meets grill. <laughs> That's good. The age old love story. Start, start, story. I can't talk. I can't believe we were able to get into such an exclusive establishment. Why is my mouth not working? I think you may want to rein in those expectations there. That was the same thing. This sign is painted on. I guess they're open 24-7. Those are my kind of opening hours. Oh, we did get to go in, okay. Froze for a second. Can we stop what we're doing and order one of everything, please? <laughs> Hot dog picture. It's like a processed torpedo coming right from my heart. I hope the burgers here are as good as they look. Are they ever? Not in Twin Lakes, honey. The mayor ruled all the food has to be worse than advertised. Keeps the population dissatisfied. Vince. All right, shoppers. Shoppers? It's rhyming slang for coppers. Is it? I don't know, trying to churn, trying to butter churn it. What? Learn it. Right. Doesn't sound like it's going all that well. Nope. What brings you out here? Trying to promote our roadshow, Lady Farnival's Frivolous Carnivals. <laughs> Wait, is that slang or is what it's called? I don't know anymore. <laughs> See you later, perspective. Detective? Okay. Order whatever you want, boys. Yes! But remember, the cook only really knows how to bake cookies. Aww. Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome, boys. Can I fix you up a little something to eat? Are you the boss here? I surely am, though. It's only me and Klaus, and we're closed off season, so it's, so it's not that fancy a setup. Keeps my lights on and his workshop running, so... Wait, forget I said anything. Are you linked to the motel? Gracious, no. I don't think Narvin would want to work with others. He's not what you call a people person. What? Why is Narvin in a public-facing job? Why, well, I heard it. Family business. His mom fished, his pa ran the place. He got stuck with it for some reason or another, but I think he lacks the power. I think he wanted to get his hands on the real abuse of authority and become... What? I think he wanted, I think he wanted to get his hands on the real abuse of authority and become police, but it didn't work out. Hey, if they give me a shrug animation, this is when I'd use it. <laughs> Thanks. Y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, that's so quintessential. I need some of these to wipe the drool from my mouth. Mustard and ketchup, the two genders. <laughs> How is it? It's rats and mice, you know, proper pastry. Of course, of course. It, it's all of that stuff, of course it is. Oh, I can go in the kitchen, I wasn't expecting that. What I wouldn't do to have a kitchen like this at home. Hey, I know you, you're Santa Claus. Klaus. And no, I'm not, I'm somebody else. Yeah, someone else entirely. What are you doing here? I'm just a guy with bills to pay, just like you. Heating bills, am I right? Maybe. 
That's funny. We good? Yeah, we're okay. Season's greetings! Whatever they might be. And she been unlocked. Don't I know you? Uh, what can I look at? Jelly. Do you know that the outside of a... Did you know that outside of America, people don't call this jelly? They call it jam? And jelly is what we call jello. Oh, okay, so this isn't based in America. Wait, I can't tell anymore. Here, jam means stuck, but also there it means stuck as well, as jelly. Language is zany. What? Also there it means stuck as well as, gel as jelly. Yeah, I'd hate to be a non-American trying to capture ever a loose glimpse I'd hate to be a non-American trying to capture even a loose glimpse of their culture. American culture's weird. Well, as us Americans are always saying, when in Rome, Monday morning's quarterback. What? I could not agree more. A jar of maple syrup. Now I just need a stack of pancakes. This could work as well as makeshift glue. I can't read. This could work well as makeshift glue. Not a chance. I know what you're like, young fr- Young Frella, cause I never met you before. <laughs> I guess a place like this can never have too many sauces. Some yeasts for burger make for wow, I really can't read. Some yeasts for making burger buns and other stuff rise and expand. My desire for burger is rising and expanding as we stand here. Maybe I should Ho oh, oh, ho hold it. Oh, I forgot to turn off steam. Ho oh, ho hold it there. You can't just take my yeast. I need it for making Christmassy and other more year-long types of cakes. <laughs> scales. Some weighing scales. They don't look used. I'm an artist. I guess the amounts. And the elves help. I mean Merry Christmas Cookmas Oh drat. <laughs> it's full of Christmas cookies. It's my signature dish. Oh that's why they were saying he could only cook cookies, because he's Santa. I think we should check for clues. A shiny food blender for sauces and shakes. And seasonal items such as eggnog. Just an example. Seems to be broken. I hope no critter gets in here. Me too. We'd have to close it down and wait for a fumigation if they did. Alright, I feel like that's a hint. I have cheese puffs and energy drink. That's right. Okay. Alright. And then let's head behind the diner. Imagine a witch jumped out from behind this bin and we both had heart attacks and died! Right, no more scary movies for you before you go to bed. Aww. I feel like we're gonna have to get this rat in here. The vent into the kitchen. Standard diner waste. Hey there, little... Whoa, fast one, aren't you? An abandoned car. Looks like there's a discarded cross wrench in the trunk. I prefer my wrench is happy. Let's take it and cheer it up. Is that the one that's like shaped like a cross and is yeah, like that? I guess that's the only thing it could be if it's called a cross wrench, huh? Okay, well, I feel like we have to get the rat in there, but let's not do that yet until we know why we're doing it. So let's go here. Uh, this is a, a lot to look at. Nothing like that dry spring desert air. You can really feel the sand in your nostrils. It's a shame these signs are the fanciest part of this place. Billboard truck. A carnival's coming to Twin Lakes? What are we doing at this dump? I mean, thanks for the thoughtful birthday trip. <laughs> okay, that's back to the desert. That's Oh, I can go to the desert or to the attraction. Let's go to the desert. Oh! Hi. What a beautiful night. You never really see the moon in the city. Duly, we see it all the time. Most nights. Oh? I never really look up in the city, on account of not being able to see anything when I do. Cactus. Look, detective, he's waving! Ant hill. A hill made out of ants. Close, buddy. Close. Ruff, ruff. Cactus again. Looks like a football. Just don't kick it. For once, I am glad to see you, Moon. It'd be very dark if we were out here on our own. Uh, okay, that's it here. So let's go to the attraction. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Oh, I'm so sorry. I whacked the mic. I hope I remember to cut that out. 
That's just his head left. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Ah, uh, I didn't think that this was... I didn't think that it was much... I didn't think that it was this much of a walk. It'll be good for us. Hmm, I wonder what the haze is in the distance. Oh, oh my. What's going on here? Think it's part of the attraction? Oh, they did say localized sandstorm, didn't they? I don't, Dooley, I don't. It's a sandstorm, but why is it centered on the attraction? Does this mean... Yes, Dooley, a case to investigate. Say it ain't so. There's a sandstorm centered on the attraction's entrance. If we want to find a way to get inside to investigate, we'll need to find a way to block it. Wait, but what is this? Block the sandstorm? The information stand seems to be closed down because of the storm. We can't get in while that sandstorm is blocking the way off. We need to cut the storm off. How? Does this storm look nice, detective? I can't see with all the sand in my eyes. <laughs> Trout of this world. How am I supposed to stop a sandstorm? Shaman energy drink for a higher plane of thirst distance. What kind of marketing rubbish is this thirst distance? I don't know, but I want some. Here, do you want some? I'm not sure that's gonna achieve anything. Okay. Then, I wonder if we could... I wonder if this could block the wind causing the sandstorm. Oh. How do I get in? Do I have to? Well... That's what you just said, is that you want to use it, right? To block it? Okay, nothing here. Hmm. Your truck out front? My what? Your truck. Your um rubber duck? Oh yeah, my rubber duck. It's parked out on the indecipherable code. Indecipherable code? Road? Yep. Can I borrow the your bee's knees? Oh, if you want the bee's knees, then you'll then I'll want something in return. Uh oh now let me think. A garden hermit. One from my arsenal to set up in your circus clown. Okay, sure. Sorry, what? <laughs> if you want my truck keys, I need a permit so my carnival can set up in your town, mate. Yeah, 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 okay, I understood at that time. Right, off to the phone. I Right, off I go to phone the precinct. But we only have half a phone. See you later, perspective. Uh, okay, so maybe we can use the fax machine. That ain't for no customer use. Okay, that's... Oh! That was the same thing and then it suddenly is letting me dial. Hello? Did you freeze? Oh! Dispatch! Sally? It's me! I need a... Who's me? Sally, it's Detective McQueen. We have worked together. We're friends. Well, if we're such good friends, how come you didn't ask how I was first? Straight into business. I can go the business route too, you know. I'm sorry, Sally. That was rude of me. How are you? Busy. Too busy for idle chatter. <laughs> What's up? Can you ask the chief to sign a permit so the carnival can come to Twin Lakes? No need. I have pre-signed permits here. Consider it done. Why do you have signed permits just sitting around? Look, do you want the permit or do you want to ask questions? Permit, please. I'll fax it to you. Japan is still huge on fax machines as well. I got a permit. I don't want to anger the owner again. Damn right you don't. Keep your mitts to yourself. Okay. 
I must have clicked through too fast and it uh, had different dialogue. Sorry about that. Here you go. I have your permit. Sorry, you're- what was it? You're something something hermit? Oh, that's a week-long sir. that's a week-long cruise. Good news. Here are my rubber ducks bees knees. Truck keys. I appreciate it, but I have to ask. Why are you trying to talk like this? Seems like a lot of hassle. It adds an air of authenticity, doesn't it? Does it, though? You received truck keys. Alright, let's go. Uh, nope, I went the wrong- no, no, that was right. I did go the right way. Here we go. Hop in, Dooley. Let's go block that sandstorm. Where'd my hat go? Wasn't I wearing a hat? Did I take it off? Oh, there's someone there now. Oh, no, I guess I wasn't wearing a hat. I thought I was wearing a hat for some reason. Okay, the truck has blocked the entrance of the... Okay. The truck has blocked enough of the entrance to get us near the entrance. Nope. Third time's a charm. The truck has blocked enough of the storm to get us near the entrance. This is exciting. Usually people are struggling to get out of museums. Welcome to Trout of This World, the Twin Lakes Twin... The Twin Lakes Twin Lakes Finding Museum. Hello again. Hello again to you too. Long time no see. You don't remember me, do you? I am afraid that... I am afraid that is where you have caught me out. Please forgive me, it is my job as tourism officer of Twin Lakes. I meet literally tens of people a year. Try though I do, I cannot remember them all. What was the storm about? You know, I often wonder the same thing about storms and blizzards. Heat waves too. What is it about? What is it all about? But what about this one? Ah, Jamie, this one. This one they will come and they will ask you about, I told myself. Sadly, I had stepped out to the bathroom. All I know is that a fisherman came to see the place, and by the time the storm came, he was gone. What did he look like? Yellow hair and a mustache, and fisherman clothes, as in clothes that smell like fish. What can you tell me about this place? Well, despite numerous warnings, many people go to, go to Lake Monster to fish. Of course, the very real monster has almost certainly eaten all of the fish. With probably no fish to catch, people dredge up old bottles, license plates, terrible artifacts of power, and reverse bicycles. In case they're of value, the mayor wants them all cataloged, and in case they belong to the terrible lake fiend, I, as head of tourism, store them in a far-off lake as I can. As far off from the lake as I can. When something is found, I drive it over here. Wait, reverse bicycles? Yes, the frame is made of inflatable rubber and the wheels are metal. The local inventor, Claudia Rao... Claudia Rott invented them to reduce bike congestion across the city. Do you have any merchandise? Oh yes, we sell boots modeled on boots found in the lake. They're very uncomfortable. We also have a t-shirt soaked in lake water to give them a unique pungent smell. And hats with our logo on them. Oh, a hat. I want a hat. One hat for the birthday boy, please. Coming right up. So, make adventure games again. So when you set a logo on it, I meant we have to- we have built miniature versions of our logo on top. Yes. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's dig our way in. So far I'm digging this case. Look at it all. The finest things fish from, fished from the bottom of Lake Monster. A bowling ball, a teddy bear, and- oh look! A knocked over lamp! Wait, how did you get in here? Was I fished out of the lake? How did I get in here? Of course not, Dooley. Ha! I had you go in there for a second, thinking I was fished out of a lake. You did, didn't you? But seriously, I wasn't, right? Speaks for itself, really. Yes, there are no cameras on display here. Stay strong, guys. Someone will fish one up someday. Bowling ball? Okay, well, let's see what's in here. What kind of bait do you think they used to catch this? Photo? What is that a photo of? It looks kind of like a person with a brown head. Oh wow, a photo of Bigfoot! That's the picture I took. Wait, you've met Bigfoot? It's fake. Can you introduce me? Sure. Oh, those are the- is that- we got like the kids to stack themselves up in a- in a- in a coat? It says, the Holy Grail, genuine article. Number 3423 from a limited run of 5000. Genuine indeed. A lamp. A strange-looking lamp with the lid removed. Recording. The genie's not in right now. Please leave your wish after the beep. 
Beep. I wish I didn't have to go back to work after this trip. I wonder if this is a real genie's lamp, and if so, where's the genie? That stray magic might explain the sandstorm outside. Ah, we should look around. Something that pow something that powerful could cause a lot of trouble. We better have a look around for it. Look at that wig. Hey, this looks like that camp counselor I met. That was Nigel in a disguise. Oh yeah. Boy, is it convincing. License plate. An ominous custom plate. Can't swim. <laughs> this claims to be Excalibur. Give me a look. Huh, I can't get it out. Bird skeleton. A bird skeleton. Reminds me of the time I picked museum locks with some of these. Bird bones. This guy's starting to make me nervous. Yeah, he's kind of creepy. Skull? That's a pretty ominous looking skull. Yeah, but it it's off screen so we shouldn't pay attention to it. Okay, thanks. Wow, a two-headed fish. Hmm, I can see the stitch lines. A two-headed fish that can stitch? Even more impressive. Culture Club. Vivian. Look at all this stuff! I don't think you're meant to take photos. It says so right there on the sign. What are you? The police? Yes, actually. Oh, I just thought your son was dressed up for Halloween. We're the same age, and it's the wrong time of year. Yeah, I guess I'm sorry? Don't be. I'm very flattered. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, I've got bird bones. Hello, bird bones, my old friend. I don't know why I have those. Look at all this stuff. Okay, that's the same one. Museum rules. One, no licking. Items, buildings, or other attendees. Two, theft of display items only okay for supernatural investigations. Three, no lake monsters. Oh, can I take this then? No. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do now. I, I said look around for supernatural things. Oh, we can pick something with the bird bones, maybe? Can I go in here? What is that you're thinking of doing there? Nothing? Yeah, and keep it that way. Okay. Maybe one of the other rooms? I don't think we should break into this room. They're fragile and I don't want to break them. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, okay. Ash. Look at the jawline on this fella. You, you're gorgeous, debonair, suave. I was gonna say blue. How shallow to only notice the color of my skin. No, it's just, it's not so common here. Where I'm from, everyone is blue. Pink faces like you would be odd, but I have the decency not to make a thing of it. I... sorry. So you're the missing genie. Yes, I was minding my own business, drying out some soaked delicates from my lamp's skinny dip in your lake, when this man gives me an unsolicited rubbing. Now I'm stuck with him until he makes three wishes. Usual fare, no extra wish wishes, nuclear wars off the table, no naughty stuff. I thought I'd escape this life, but I'm stuck with him until he w until he's wished out. Then whoever finds me next gets a go. I wish I knew a way to break the cycle and get home to my family. People running around the state with wishes seems dangerous. Maybe we can get this genie home. And maybe we can get them home while we are at it. What? I just said that. Good, because, you know, seems like getting wishes off the street of TL will be a good thing. I'm surprised you're so against it. Duly, I'm not against it. I suggested it. Okay, okay, I won't for force your arm. I just think it'd be safer for the city if we helped. And nice to get them home. Where are you from? I'm from the dream of ancient... I'm from the dreams of ancient men. A place of incompatible delights and sights. You don't know, do you? Nah, left when I was a kid. How would you get home? I don't know, I've never gotten back. All I know is that I've been free of this guy's wish- I've... I've... I have to- oh, it's a posture he's throwing me off. I've to be free of this guy's wishes first. Of this- yeah, okay. I'm sorry I can't give you better guidance, but wishes are my realm. For guidance you need something like a spirit quest. A spirit quest? Yeah, a high intensity journey into the wilderness. High intensity? Like, high energy? 
People usually mix up a powerful concoction to help them get in the right mindset. I don't know much more to be honest, not my kind of thing. But maybe somebody wise can guide you? Wise, eh? Fine, I'll do what I can, but I'm not promising anything. Well, we've got the energy drink. If you need to ask me anything else, you know where to find me. Besides, wherever Master goes. Guten Abend, min Freund. I can't German. Good evening. Hello, friend. This is this is Russian accent. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what a glorious evening! And as a child, I'd sit out on evenings like this and think, and think what? I just think, you know, thoughts. Who's your friend? This is my good luck charm. I keep going into Russian accent. My ace in the hole. A third phase meaning they are good for me to have. A good... This is my good luck charm. My ace in the hole. A third phrase meaning... Oh, a third phrase meaning they are good for me to have. With them, I will surely find the best piece of lake junk that has ever been found. Then I'll be off on the... Then I'll be on the cover of Lake Junk Monthly. That will, undoubtedly, lead to a dazzling array of talk. Sh talk show panels and book signings. Not my books, of course. I've not written one. I'll just sign random books. After that, what could life possibly hold for me? I'll grow jaded and weary and travel the world looking for the next lake to fish in. The next piece of junk to find, always hoping to relive past glories. In the end, my mania will be overshadowed... Will, will, my mania will overshadow the original find and will become solely what I'm known for. Or so I can hope. What brings you to the desert? Well, I'll tell you the story, shall I? Oh no, I'm gonna need some more water. My mouth's getting dry. I came here to fish something up from your lake and put it in the museum here. Is that the end of your story? Yes, didn't you like it? Oh. It was certainly to the point. What are some random likes and dislikes, for no reason at all? I don't like being hungry or being too warm, and I'm allergic to ants. They make me itchy. On the other hand, I enjoy forcing mystical beings into helping me fish junk to do... to a better standard than I'd otherwise achieve. This has been a good conversation. Thanks for having it. Auf Wiedersehen. Yep, me German. Good. <laughs> I have no idea how to do any kind of German uh, accents or pronunciations. Um, I rode... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I want to take... Try taking the energy drink. I don't think the drink alone is strong enough. I need to... Oh, I need to wait to make it more powerful. Hmm. What if I just give it to Dooley? Do I have to? No, okay. Hmm. Maybe we need cookie, like cookies, sugars. Do you know anything about spirit quests? Sorry, my coven doesn't like me talking to people about that kind of stuff. Your what? My, uh, cousins. Very protective lot. Anyway, nice weather we're having, eh? Y'all come back now, you hear? Know anything about, er, uh, merit pests? Nah, but when I want a lemon and lime, good time, I usually... Huh, what rhymes with bin? Skin? Grin? Spin? Identical twin? Oh yeah, I like that. Identical twin. Right, well, I guess I'll give that a try. You're very watermelon. You're very watermelon? You're magical. What can you tell me about spirit quests? I'm not magical, but I do know you need an elixir and a remote place to drink it. Tell me about this elixir. Just mix the hardest hitting stuff you can find and you're good to go. But be careful, it's strong stuff. I will be. Thanks, not Santa. Season's greetings, whatever they might be. Okay. So let's... He said something about a bin? Is there anything left in those wrappers? Do we know? Sauce even? They're old. 
You're old, mister. Won't- You're old, mister. Won't like a wrapper from an old roadside bin. Okay, so nothing in there? I thought you said something about a bin. Dooley's protein supplements might just come in handy. I'm so happy you finally want to bulk up. Okay, can I mix these? Is that what I'm supposed to do? The amount of fizzing and hissing that that caused... The amount of fizzing and hissing that caused does not get me excited to drink this later on. Whoa! I can't even look at this without getting dizzy. I'm not looking forward to drinking it. Eh? Where did you get that glass? And the cherry! Dooley, I am always taking stuff. My pockets are literally full of junk. Honestly, I think my bottomless coat is the weirdest thing in Twin Lakes. That is true. I like that people acknowledge... Uh, I like that games acknowledge, like, the improbability of carrying everything around. Okay, let's head to the desert and... Excuse me, drink this. Well, goodbye, normal blood pressure. Whoa, look at the coyote. Or wolf? What the hell? Where did they come from? Oh, I didn't even see this. I <laughs> just saw him with his glasses. What do you mean? That's been there all along. No, it- wait. Is this how you see the world all the time? Dixit! Finally, you're here. We thought you weren't going to make it in time. In time? Yes, you're scheduled for 15 minutes ago. You're lucky we had a cancellation or we'd not have been able to fit you in tonight. Sounds like you run a pretty tight ship. Oh, we have to. The desert is littered with people trying to find themselves these days. You ask me, I think unchecked capitalism has left us in a place where people's identity is based on what value they provide, but advancing technologies leave many of them with nothing to offer. Wow, this got deep. Anyway, shall we get started? Am I lagging? A little bit, let me... Shall we get going to the temple then? Oh, you want me to go to the distant temple, okay. Let's go. I guess we're going to the ominous pyramid in the middle of the desert. There's nothing I want to do more. <laughs> of course. Wait, how do we get back from here? We don't, I guess. And we- Oh no, I was trying to talk to Dooley! The age-old ritual of entering ominous doorways when we both know better. Ah, oh, I tried to click- Whoa. What is this place? Uh, huh? Weren't we just here? What? Oh no. Ah, oh, I was trying to click on Dooley again! I don't like this. Here, every day is like day. Uh, okay. Do we live here now? They will tell the tales of us, the temple police, wandering the halls, doling out punishment to any who angered the many-doored god. Whoa. Finally! I wonder if I randomly guessed my way through it or if you only had to click through a couple of screens. Look at this place, a temple to the body. I'm with my people. Duly, they're wolves. Shut it, two legs. I'm a wolf now. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Dooley, you're not a wolf. I'm burning so much energy, I can smell my fur singe. Ow! Excuse me? Less talking, more pumping. Woo! Who are you? I'm the baddest, maddest, and raddest wolf in the desert. Rock and Rick Rover, they call me, but you can call me Rock and Rick Over, just like everyone else. Woo! Why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Only thing rather than pumping iron is looking cool while pumping iron. Woo. What are you doing here? Where else would I be? The motel? Lame. The diner? Lame. The attraction? Lame. If Rick can't pump, then it's a dump. <laughs> oh, sorry. Awoo. Okay, goodbye. Smell you later, smooth face. Awoo. You want to stay clear of that, brother? The balance is off. A colorblind bison messed it up and ran away. Oh, ran away. Squatting. Brother, you can do it! Crush that iron! Uh, hi. Hey there, brother. You here to bench? I guess I am. That's a shame, brother. The bench is bust. I miss that bench, brother. Who are you? I'm Randy, brother. I'm stronger than any, any hound around. Want to arm wrestle? Um... No, thanks, though. That's because you know I'll win, brother. No shame in admitting it. I'm the better wolf. In fairness, you are a better wolf than I am. Yeah, brother. Where is this place? 
This here is the desert gym, brother, where wolves, coyotes, and bison come to work out and unwind. But the rest of those freeloaders haven't come back since Argus broke the lifting bench. Broke it? Yeah, brother. He put the blue weights on the red side and the red on the blue. The balance is out of whack. Want me to see if I can fix it for you? Hell yeah, brother. I tried, but I'm a wolf. No opposable thumbs. How are you- what? Plus, we're too busy shredding these weights. Woo! Okay, I'll see what I can do. Woo! What are you doing here? Working on these fuzzy pistons. Do you do anything else? Brother, if this world offered something other than working on oneself, I do not want to know. Okay. See you around, brother. Is this gonna be the minigame for this? Oh yeah, the other one we didn't really have a minigame. It was just like, real short. Okay, let's see if we can get this bench work working out for these guys. I need to move these weights across the other side. They're heavy so I can only move one of them. I They're heavy so I can only move them a step at a time. I can't move them backwards, but I can start again if I need to. Oh, I didn't. Oh no, I'm so bad at these. I gave my D&D players one of these puzzles. I've already borked it. Yeah. If I click this, it will go here and I won't be able to jump that. So it has to be there. Oh, but I can do that. Okay. 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 I can't go here because then I can't jump that. So by default... I was close, okay. I have to do... Yes! <laughs> oh good, awesome, and done. The bench is fixed, guys. Great work, great work, brother. If I knew you put your, if I knew if you put your mind to it, you'd get there in the end. Great. I'm uh, still not entirely sure why I'm actually here. Oh, I forgot, brother. We're meant to show you the next part of the journey. A uh, whoops. All right, brother. Hold on tight. Detective, I don't feel so good. Okay. What? What is happening? <laughs> Such a bizarre game. Fedtra? Dimensional. Fed extra? What? What just happened? Did you see all that, Dooley? What? The gym wolves and the space baby stuff? So it did happen? Eh, of course. We literally just did it. And you're not weirded out by all that? Why would I be? Seemed like a perfectly normal smoke and mirror secret advert to me. Right, so what do we do now? Eh, I think the ad is pretty clear. If you want to help that genie get home, we need to stamp that lamp with the special space stamps. Where will I find stamps like that out here in the desert? Wait, what's this in my pocket? Cosmic stamps? How did they get here? Might be best not to think about that too much. That's how I get through these cases. Uh, agreed, but what are they for? Weren't you paying attention? With these, we can get the genie posted home once he's wish-free. Is that what that all meant? Right. Well, let's just go stamp the genie's lamp, I guess. Ha! You're a poet and you didn't even know it. No. Know it, Dooley. Know it. No, I, I said it without even <laughs> reading it properly. Know what? Never mind. Let's go. Okay. See, this one's already like 50 minutes long and the other one we just did was so much shorter. <laughs> Well, that I, I just recorded. What are you doing? Putting the stamps on that lamp. Yeah, but you're using the blue ones. You need to use the red ones. The ad was clear about the postage amount required. Was it? Okay. Is that better? Much. Super! Now let's go waste some wishes. 
It's stamped and ready to go. Now for phase two, getting the genie back into it. We need to get Otto to waste his wishes on harmless stuff. Let's get to it. Okay. I need to go talk to him again because I've forgotten what he said. Oh! Looks like Otto dropped something. Golden ticket. Oh! I can get in the back room. Here you go. What's this? Oh, you think you're a big shot now? Well, if you've had a golden ticket, you whiz. Uh, in you go, your majesties. <laughs> this is exciting. God damn it, Narvin. What? It's just a dark hanger? I guess if I don't use it, I can hang my coat up in the room. Either way, it'll get used. As a kid, I used to love these giant bubble machines. They'd mix up the detergent and kitchen supplies all The right mix of detergent and kitchen supplies always covered the place with suds. Now my sister makes me use a laundromat. As a kid- oh, no, same thing. Wailing whites leave your sheets white enough for even the pickiest hauntings. If I have to wash anything, then this will not feel like a holiday. Well, I guess we're trapped in a case now. What? Hey, I hid my- I hide my dirty clothes in the dark, too! <laughs> okay, that's the same. I guess this is a lot like relaxing at the museum slash poolside. I'm sorry, buddy. Tumble dryer. How come these things always seem to eat one sock? I'm not sure. That may be a case for a quiet week. Do I need to do the laundry? <coughs> no, I don't. Okay. Let's leave. Maybe if I go put the detergent in the pool? Mm. I don't remember what I'm supposed to get. Okay, I can't take this, right? What if I put this in here? No. What if I put this in here? No. I really don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Where did the guy go? I don't- I don't remember what he said, except ants. Is he in the diner, maybe? Where is he? Is he behind the diner? Oh, maybe he's in one of the rooms. Can I... If I just give the cheese puffs to the rat, then I'll drop treats down. Then I'll be down treats, but not up a rat. Okay, that was... Hmm... Oh, maybe the guy's in, in one of the rooms. He was outside of room three. Oh, yeah, 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 I can see it pulsing now. They're inside watching TV. I can get him to waste a wish if he's hungry, but there's no kitchen to feed him. Oh, do I need to close down? Okay, so I need to do something with the food? Can I talk to Santa about that? Hmm. Oh. Ah, uh, okay, so I maybe I need to... What? Wait, I thought that would be it. Like, put the food in here. To get the rat to go in to prove that they have an infestation. Oh, no, I wanted to go out. Sorry, Dooley. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Maybe I'm dragging on the wrong spot. Can I open it with this? Do I need to get ants in here, maybe? Let's go check. I don't even know how to pick up the ants. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have bones for something too to like pick a lock. Okay, I had to look this one up. You're supposed to combine this to make a, a rat trap. Which I would never have guessed because there were clothes in it, so I thought the point of having it was to have clothes, not to make a rat trap. Hey little guy, I have some tasty cheese bits for you. Hand them over then. Duly, they're for the rat. Can I have them if I'm dressed like a rat? Okay. Hi. Okay, let's get this guy in there and shut this place down. Wait, can't we do a police thing to close it? Too late. What's this? A little rat friend? Well, ho ho hello, little guy. Oh wait, you shouldn't be in here. Hey Sue, what do we do if there's a rat in the kitchen again? A rat? Damn Suga, I told you before. Every time we see a rat, we gotta shut up for the day. Shut up shop for the day. Oh, okay, well I guess we're clocking off early then. Damn it. Awesome. Okay, so I hope this closure doesn't cost you much. Uh you're a goodie for worrying, but I'm a millionaire. I only do this for the funsies. Oh. I should get to the elves to fix that vent. Um, I, I mean, I should fix it. Myself. <laughs> okay, so we took care of that. Hi. Oh, Vince. Nice night for waiting around in case I need another puzzle later, wouldn't you say? I mean, Doris Day? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm too tired. They're inside watching TV with the kitchen closed. I just need to find a way to make him hungry. Seeing food always makes me hungry. Well, that's sort of true. I'm just always hungry. Where can I get food if everything's closed? Do we have food? What else would I have packed? Oh, I can go in. Do you think he'd mind me finishing that off? I can't pick it up though. Oh, a tray. Oh, okay. Perfect for carrying meals, hitting muggers on the head, and impromptu games of frisbee. Wait. I can't. But. I need some. But. 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 How am I. But. <laughs> I think he... yeah, he left these burgers on. I'll make sure the city gives you a commendation for your work here. Squeak! Of course, you can bring your family to the ceremony. We'd be thrilled to meet them. I think we should check it for clues, full of Christmas cookies. Wait, what am I supposed to... how am I supposed to get the food? I might as well grab this while nobody's looking. Okay, so I have yeast. What do I do with yeast? Oh, there's a ladder. How did I miss this ladder? I guess I saw it, but I never thought about it. This must be where the motel gets its TV signal. These lights exist so that low-flying planes and UFOs don't crash into the towers. Why do we always find ourselves up so high? So high up, also. Um... Can I... Can I undo it? That's no way he's been on vacation. This should mess with the TV signal. Okay, that's awesome, cool. Okay. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to unscrew it or it's like the reverse bunny ears. <laughs> oh wait, are you angry because there's no TV now? Oh, what are you watching? None of your business, that's what. The channels appear to be broken. All I can see is food. Delicious food. I'm hungry now. Think I'll call room service. Hello? I'd like one food, please. <laughs> Kitchen's closed, not because of rats or anything. Just closed. What's to ya? How oddly specific. Anyway, I'm hungry. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I know. Genie? Yes? One food, please. As you wish. Look at all this food! All the bratwursts a boy could eat. One wish down. But I, 
If I want to burn more wishes, I think I'm going to need to get him out of his room. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just trying everything at this point. circuit breaker it's locked but if I could get in there I could power down the air which should get him out of his room it doesn't seem to use a normal key it looks like it's bolted closed and we're in cool okay air powering down let's go see if that worked either that or he'll wish for air conditioning boy it is hot all of a sudden I came out here to cool off how go my escape plans I'm working on it I don't mean to rush you, but I don't want to have to watch him change clothes again. <laughs> Come join me in the water. It's adequate. Mm. Oh, do I need to do something with a broiler now? Pool 2, I guess. Right, right, right. Hmm, but I, I was thinking I would be able to... Lordy, that fella's even bluer and more see-through than me! Look at those flies go. Probably drying themselves after every swim. Okay, so I've got him out, but I don't know... Ah! Didn't you ever pick a lock before? Just do that again. Didn't you pick a lock before? Yeah, but I was going to say I had the right tools, but I guess I just had the tools. Okay, the old bones trick, and we're in. Awesome. Breaking into people's rooms and going through their stuff? This is the best birthday ever! Let's try to find some clues for the things he'd waste wishes on. Dining cart? It looks like he got his wish for a nice meal, at least. There's a label that says, Power switch for Twin Lakes Hospital, do not turn off. That can't be right, but I'm not risking it. Oh, it's one of those fish that sing! I wonder what song it is. I'm Saul the Summoning Salmon, here to conjure up your favorite extra planar being fun. To bring you forth Mezatoth, the bug licker, draw ye first pentagram using the blue- Aw, why'd you turn it off, detective? His phone works. Fancy. There's a tube of antihistamine for ant bites. It's called antihistamine. He must be allergic to ants. Are you gonna take the antihistamine? Otto's clothes. He's got good tastes. All expensive designer stuff. Yeah, nice clothes. Shame if something was to happen to them. But he just washed them again. Unless... I love where this is going. Do I have to? Uh, yeah? Oh, wasn't this called, like... Yeah, it gets your whites whiter than white. A new ultra bright... Colored. We don't even know what to call it, but our test labs are blinding to look at. I forgot a fishing rod. Okay. Looks like Otto's hoping to fish out something museum-worthy for this trip. I might borrow this for a moment. Might? Yeah, I'm taking it. How come he got a TV in his room? No fair. Ugh, this drawer is full of dead spiders. Could be worse. They could be alive. Ooh, why did you say that? That is awful. Remind me to turn these back on later. Uh, okay, so I have a fishing rod. Okay, I don't know what you want me to do with his clothes. Oh, okay. I need to do something with the ants. I feel like if I could take the jelly or the food... Hmm. I might as well grab this while no one is looking. Okay, now maybe I can go with the ants. Uh, they were in the desert. Oh, maybe I can put them in his clothes? I like syrup. I use it instead of honey. I won't eat honey. I think it's cruel to make bees cry just so we can have their delicious tears. Oh no. 
A long, thin rod covered in honey. Syrupped rod. Perfect. They seem to be going for it. Okay, that's enough ants for my needs. Ooh. I now have ants in my pants, and contrary to the widely held belief, they've left me with no urge to dance. <laughs> okay, what do I do with these now? Do I put them in his room or on him? Let's try putting him in his room, maybe? On his clothes? This is horrible, ooh, but less horrible than world-altering magic wishes. How bad could a bit wish be, really? Well, rumor has it that we used to have summer all year round until one guy wished it wasn't so hot all the time. I think I'd hate that guy. Okay, now I better make sure he can't wash them. Well, and take his antihistamine. He can't wash them? Are you saying we need to break the machine? Maybe we need to put too much detergent in it. I need to do something to the detergent first if I want to overload the machines. What did you say? I guess this is a lot like- oh. This kid I used to love the giant mobile, the right mix of detergent and kitchen supplies. Okay. Oh wait, wait, yeast maybe? These two together should give me something powerful. Ah! Really? Is that true? Okay, here goes nothing. We need to get out of here. Well, that's the machine's ruined. Eh? What'd you say? Nothing. With his clothes infested, he should want to use these as soon as he gets back to his room. I just have to get him there. Should I turn down the temperature of the pool? Excuse me. Okay, I just have to find a way to get him back to his room now. Surely someone around here can help me. Lordy, that fellow's even more blue. Highly chlorinated water. You want to wash that stuff to say it's good for your teeth. Oh. Hey, how do you get rid of customers who hang around after closing? We have a sign. We have a saying in the business bag of crows. Take this and throw it at him. Bag of crows, off he goes. Uh huh. Mystery sack. Oh. Vince tells me that they throw whatever is in the sack at people when they need them to leave quickly. I wonder what's inside. I do too. I'm having such a relaxing evening. Well, here goes nothing. Ah! What's happening? Get me out of here, I wish it! As you command. Well, that was an unexpected freebie. That was, yeah. What happened out here? Oh, what happened out there? I think you were attacked by birds. Ugh, I'm starting to hate this place. I just want to put on some pajamas and go to bed. Ah, there are ants in my pants. Hello, reception. I wish to put my cl I wish to put my clothes in for a washing, please. Eh, why do you keep washing us up to you services that, until five minutes prior, were working fine? Is this some kind of elaborate prank? Is the laundry room not working? What? Eh, uh, of course it is. I'm just using it right now to clean my... Clean my suds, that's all, and right now I gotta put on a new batch of suds. What a disaster. I wish my pants had no ants. Is that a legit for real wish? Oh, yes it is. It is. Done, and with that I am free. Sayonara, sucker. Aw, oh, my wishes. Oh, I feel a little bad for him. I'm so excited to go home. What's this? A message? I wish I didn't have to go back to work after this trip. Why not, guy? You two were good to me. Granted. Well, I'm out of here. Oh no. I thought about that before. Spectral delivery. Well, that's that taken care of. Ready to go check out the attractions properly now, Dooley? 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 Where did you go, Dooley? Dooley? Dooley! Dooley! Something seems... What's a word for not right? Dooley, no! Oh my goodness! Oh no. <gasps> All bottled up. Oh no, Dooley! <laughs>
Oh, so that must be where the second one takes place. All right, that was awesome. That one was long. I've been recording an hour 15. That's crazy. That was excellent though. That was very good. Oh no, I don't want to quit just yet. All right. That was very fun. I I guess I would say it's the end, but I have the second game as well, so we'll continue with that later. I want to play a bit more of um, some other games, like I'll do a couple episodes if I can get my controller working, because uh, it stopped working again. If I can get that working for Tales from the Borderlands, that would be awesome. And I got a couple other games on Steam uh, that might be nice, but I'll, I'll try and get I, I'll try and get out what I can when I can, but I do want to do a couple of Tales from the Borderlands because I've had just <laughs> just uh, this game up for a while. So hopefully I'll be able to get to them soon. I'm very curious to see what happens with Dooley. So sorry this one's a bit longer and the other one was super short, but that's how the cookie crumbles. I guess that one is a saying. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me in this episode and thanks for your patience while I have a weird work schedule and life situation, but I'll, I'll upload when I can and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye.